stable in the water, uh, particularly the electrical alteration. And so um, while they are bottling the water in Vilcabamba, um, it's much more powerful to recreate those properties fresh, which is actually what our technology does. A an ionizer actually recreates the properties of the water that we found in Ecuador in the water that comes right from your tap. When we come back, some impressions from people who've been drinking ionized water. And is this device that uses plain old tap water the future of cleaning in this country? You're watching the American Health Journal, the show that brings you the latest information on prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and research from doctors right here in Southern California. Watch the American Health Journal each week on KOCE. With a home machine that attaches to the kitchen faucet, it's possible to make ionized water your source of drinking water. Jay Hare has used one for five years now. Well, I'm an athlete, and hydration's always been important to me. Uh, I think as, a, as an athlete, um, you're always looking for ways to increase your performance, and I've tried everything. And the water was one of the few things that actually delivered an immediate and noticeable impact in, in my body. Um, because of the, the alkalizing effect, um, a, a base will neutralize an acid. When we exercise, we produce lactic acid. So um, my muscle soreness dis decreased markedly. Um, my level of hydration increased at the same time so that for the first time in 15 years, I wasn't constantly thirsty. And um, I think overall, my recovery time and vis-a-vis -vis my performance improved which, you know, probably in the order of 30 to 50 percent, somewhere in that neighborhood. It's hard to, hard to quantify exactly, but as, as an athlete, that's incredibly significant. Canadian Ross Anderson shares that passion for ionized alkaline water. He's been drinking it since the mid-90s. Quite immediately upon getting an ionizer, I noticed a dramatic shift in my hydration levels, um, my health levels, uh, my energy, my stamina clarity of mind, a number of things improved dramatically. Well, having been around the industry for five years and speaking to literally thousands of people who have drank the water, there's no question in my mind it produces results in the human body. No question. Um, and there is absolutely a tendency for people in that type of an environment with that type of product that produces very predictable and consistent results to overhype, uh, as well as there's, you know, as there is in anything, there's skeptics out in the marketplace who want to debunk anything that, that's new and unproven, you know, through the typical double-blind trials. And so, you know, we just say real simply, drink the water and let, you, let your body be the judge. My vision for the future of alkaline ionized water is that eventually it becomes about as common as a toaster. And I don't know very many people who don't have one of those. Um, I think that the, that the ultimately the long-term health benefits for our population could be extremely profound um, simply by changing that wonderful thing that we all know is so important to us that is the you know the basis of life and that is the water that we consume and this water is a profound shift. What we're seeing the, the forward thinking and more alternative minded uh, MDs and practitioners and naturopaths are starting to really take a hard look at this because it's, it's being brought into uh, the healing community by a grassroots movement of people who are drinking the water and getting results. I take an interesting lesson from my father. One of my father is presently 92 years of age, but I think that's a pretty good ripe old age. And one of my father's lessons to me when I was a little kid was to drink a big glass of water first thing every morning. Um, but I find drinking the alkaline water is significantly different in, in what it does to getting my day started. You know, we're not here to dispense medical advice or, or make claims. Um, if you're sick, see your doctor, and uh, if you think the water will help, give it a try, and I'm pretty confident you'll, you'll know the results. Check the shelves at your grocery store, and you'll see that millions of people are turning to bottled waters these days. But Jay Hare is not among them. I think what the bottled water industry has done uh, over the last five years is, is um, 
sad. They've taken our, our tap water, for the most part, municipal tap water, and purified it so they've removed all of the naturally occurring minerals that's been in the water that mankind has been drinking since the dawn of time. They've turned it fairly acidic on the pH scale. Then they've put it into number one PET plastic bottles that are filling up our landfills. And then they've sold it to us for more than the price of a gallon of gas. And people are buying it in, in record quantities because they're afraid of what's coming out of the tap. When we actually test the, the pH and electrical properties in bottled waters, uh, the results are not very favorable. Your 